What it is, y'all? It's your old boy Pilk, and I'm gonna be back today with another Don Guru video. Now, we haven't really talked yet about this new event. I went live yesterday. We're a little more than 24 hours into it. I apologize. I'm running a little late on these, but we need to talk about this. Okay, the Holiday Snow uh, Competition campaign. So let's check this out. Event is now live. Of course, this is gonna be a. Uh, there we go. Now we got our, our scrolling going. Go this, of course, going to be an event like a lot of the other ones we've seen. Obviously, there's going to be some additions and some new stuff here, but let's check this out. The event holiday snow competition has started. Uh, it actually started since uh, 12 5. It actually started yesterday. Join the event and because it's all done U UTC. Join the event and enjoy battles and an original story that can only be seen through this event. So this is a one off story. Kind of like we had with, with uh, Dan Mimo a lot. The Snowflake Metal Silver you can earn uh, in battles can be exchanged for various items such as uh, special scene cards, battle items, upgrade materials, and more. Please make sure to use all the character enhancements to prepare for the upcoming difficulty battle, blah, blah, blah. So, it started yesterday. Um, remember, this is only like U2C plus 9, so this really kind of happened like a little more than 24 hours ago. Uh, EX Quest Period will start on the 12th. Ranking Vault will start on the 22nd, uh, and the rewards will go through the 29th. So we have almost an entire month for this whole event. Okay? This is the best part. So receive 3,000 Sealess, essentially once it starts off. I love that they do this. Basically, at the start of every event, they give us enough Sealess to just handle the event. And that's amazing. Okay? To commemorate the event holiday snow uh, competition... Uh, an exclusive login bonus has begun. During the period, we will run a login bonus where you can earn uh, 3,000 Sealess and all encompassing Falna just for logging in for 14 days. So, make sure you guys log in every day, essentially. Event specific scene cards, battle items can be exchanged uh, at this event are as follows. So, the new battle, Snow Sculpture Snowdom. So, here's all the new stuff. Um,. There's new, new, uh, it, it's a snow globe, essentially. Uh, and of course, we have these two new scene cards, and we can take a look at those at a separate time. We do also have a brand new summon, and we'll talk about that here in a moment, too. In addition to scene cards and battle items, you can now exchange items such as upgraded materials exchange. We had that before, so it's not that big of a deal. EX Quest added. Uh, this will actually be added later on in the event. It's not live quite yet. I believe it goes live next week, I think. The next quest is a high-difficulty quest featuring the Wind Attribute Snow Statue of Loki. Uh, the resemblance is uncanny. Look at this thing. Okay. By clearing the next quest, you can obtain uh, the event-exclusive title Art of Transcendence. Okay. So, uh, the event is essentially live. Most of the stuff is kind of self-explanatory. Um, if you have the new units, which we'll go over here in a moment, there is a buff effect, and of course, we have the one banner, and we should be getting the other one next week as well, so don't go too crazy yet. Um, party example, if an eligible, eligible adventure and eligible assist for buff bonuses are in your party, 40% buff effect will be, uh, be applied. If an eligible adventure and a not eligible assist becomes 20%, so on and so forth. Event bonus scene cards. So these are the scene cards that are either from the exchange or from the new gotchas. So bonuses based on that. It looks like the ones that are 30%. Uh, it says max bonus. I guess that, if that's if it's maxed out. Those would be the three from the summon and then the two down here that you can go through the exchange. So it's well worth getting at least those for the bonuses. For details on how the limit break scene cards refer to uh, upgrade, upgrading scene cards, blah, 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 blah. Easy stuff. If you need help with that, let me know in the comments and we can always cover that. Uh, important notice. Uh, check the table of contents of each scene for instructions, blah, 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 blah. blah. By clearing the event. Oh, say this is all the, the very, very normal stuff. Uh, I'm willing to bet it says in here, and I haven't read it yet, but I'm willing to bet the new banner is time limited. So let's go check that out right now. 
Yep, time limited. So these units are kind of grab them down. The nice thing we that we've learned from this though is that the scene cards aren't necessarily. So these scene cards, if you don't get them now, you'll probably still be able to acquire them later on. But let's check out eyes. And of course, we have the trial quest. We'll do that a little bit later. Let's get her character details, all right? So, base power is 8910, HP is 8432, uh, strength is 636, intelligence is 636 as well, vitality is 342, and dex, 243. Skill details. Now, per usual, I want to max her out. So, when maxed out, attack multiplier of 124.8%, front-facing AoE attack hits four times. That's huge. Uh, technique, well, this is Technique 1, technically. Snow Slash, attack multiplier of 180%, cooldown small, round AoE attack hits two times. Okay? Technique 2, we'll go ahead and max this one out as well. You can just see the numbers going up. Attack multiplier 360%. Cooldown medium front facing AoE attack. Hits two times. Apply 30% strength increase to self for eight seconds. That's actually huge. I like that a lot. And finally, her SA. Looks like it's going to be a pretty respectable number. Uh, attack multiplier 480%. Not the biggest we've seen, to be fair. Cooldown large. Round AoE attack. Apply 200% increase normal attack damage to self for 20 seconds, that's a long one. 200% increased action skill damage, 30% damage increase. Okay, so she was just kind of like, alt-right. That, I think, makes it. That that makes her really good. So, Ice is pretty solid. Let's check out Finn. Character details. Uh, power is 7100, HP is 2595. Strength is 572, Intelligence is 572, Vitality is 64, Dex is 189. Let's check out skills, and per usual, we're going to max them out. Okay. Wow. Look at that stat change. Look at these stat changes. That's kind of crazy. It's just changing all over the place. So, fully maxed, but broken, fully uh, level 10. Attack multiplier 500%. Cooldown time is 50 seconds. Front facing round AoE attack. Apply 40%. Increase action skill damage to self for 20 seconds. It's again, long buffs on that. I think normally we see 10 seconds. Okay, let's max this one out as well. Passive skill 1. When in battle, 50% fire damage to self. Passive skill 2. Once again, maxed out. When in battle, 22 and a half strength increase to self. And skill 3, weight of battle, 50% stamina increase to self. So some very good units all the way across the board here. Now, of course, we do have some scene cards. Let's take a look at that. So the first scene card here, uh, fully limit broken, fire attribute damage activated when categories, category count, or more. That is, of course, going to be, uh, which category is she? Anyway, when it's her category, when in battle, 50% uh, increase action to self. Okay? Pretty easy stuff. This next one, scene card details. Oh, we'll check out this one here. Oh, or we won't. Here we go. Scene card details. Uh, fire attribute activated when category is. In other words, when you have the, her attached to that category. When in battle, 40% increase... Uh, HP recovery to self. 40% is a lot. Finally, let's check out this last one. When in battle, 20% uh, magic increase to self. So some pretty good scene cards there. But like I said, you can acquire those scene cards pretty much at any time. Now, I do have some Seelis chilling. So I'm going to go ahead and do one summon and see what we get. We do have another banner coming uh, probably next week, if I had to guess. Probably not worth going too crazy over. Okay. Some luck incoming. Can we grab one of the new units? You know, I got to say, 
it does feel like they've increased the rates. I know that they, they haven't, but it feels like they have because I used to not be able to pull any URs. And I've got another limit break of that unit. Or of that, uh, that scene card, I should say. A second UR. Okay. Okay, it'll limit break for Tione. I am absolutely not mad about that. Is this a third UR? That is a third UR, guys. That is insane. That is completely insane. Now, admittedly, it's not the new units. There are limit breaks. I'm going to stop there, though. So now... What's really interesting, and I, I fully expect this to be the same as we had last time. Yes. So, uh, if you do uh, do eight summons, you do have a UR guaranteed gotcha ticket. Which, if if it's anything like last time, it's like a 10% chance of... Uh, or, um, sorry. 70% chance of being one of the, the new units. So, good time to do some farming. Uh, so that being that, that is the new event. Good luck to you. If you've already done your summons, let me know what you got. It's got in the comments down below. Like I said, I know this has been around for 24 hours. I'm just a little behind this week. But, like, comment, share. We'll be back with more uh, Don Kuro. And I've got some Dave Mebo coming up for you guys here real soon. Actually, probably a few minutes after this drops.